so glad that you're joining us again for another week of our Bible stories. These are exciting weeks because we're learning all about the special stories in the Bible about Christmas. I love this time of year because it's so fun to think about all the wonderful things that God did to send Jesus to earth, to send his son to earth. And it always reminds me how powerful and amazing and wonderful God is. And I hope that as you hear these stories each week leading up to Christmas, that it makes you filled with joy and excitement and amazement at God and his amazing power. This week, we're going to be learning about Mary and Joseph. These stories are in the Bible in Luke chapter one and Matthew chapter one. One day, an angel named Gabriel was sent by God to a town called Nazareth. And in that town, there was a young woman named Mary. And Mary was engaged to Joseph. And the angel appeared to Mary and said, <clears throat> Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. <gasps> wow, what do those words mean? Well, basically, greetings is hello, and favored one means special chosen one by God. And so Mary was afraid and confused, and she said, Why would God choose me? I haven't done anything special. Why would God come to me? Why would this angel say favored one? Hmm. The angel said, don't be afraid. He told Mary that she was going to have a baby. And this baby would be very special and his name would be, do you know? His name would be Jesus. Mary asks the angel, how can this happen? She was so surprised and amazed, maybe a little confused, but the angel explained to her. The angel told Mary that God would be the father of the baby. The baby, Jesus, is God's son. The angel told Mary about her cousin, Elizabeth, who you guys learned about in the video last week. Elizabeth, even though she was very old, she was going to have a baby too. And the angel said, for nothing is impossible with God. That means that God can do anything, even something as amazing as sending his son, Jesus, to earth in the form of a baby. Mary said, may this happen to me just like you said. And she was very humble in her heart willing to accept and to do whatever God asked her to do. Mary hurry, hurry, hurry to Elizabeth's house to tell her about the good news. And when Mary arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth started jumping with joy because he knew that Mary was going to be the mom of the savior of the whole world. Mary was so happy that she praised God with a song about how great God is. She said, my soul praises the Lord, the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior. Mary knew that families in the future, oh, hey, that's us, we're, we're, we live way long after Mary did. They said, she knew that people would say, wow, Mary was blessed because of what God did and what he was going to do through Jesus. God kept his promise from long ago that he was going to bless the whole world by sending Jesus. And Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then she went home. Now you might remember at the beginning of this video, I talked about Joseph and Joseph and Mary were engaged. That means that they were going to be married pretty soon. An angel came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Mary is going to have a son and you should name him Jesus because he is going to save his people from sins. When Joseph woke up, he did just what the angel told him. He married 
Mary. And when Mary had the son, they named him Jesus. In the Bible here, all at the beginning, all throughout the Bible, God was telling his people that he was going to do this. And many of the things that were said in the Bible about the Savior God would send, they came true in Jesus. God had planned all along to send Jesus to save the world from their sins. And when Jesus came to earth as a baby, it was the beginning of God fulfilling to, and keeping his promise. And this is one of the reasons Christmas is so special, is God is showing us that he, we can trust him and that he's always going to keep his promises. And we can celebrate at Christmas that Jesus came to the world because we know that when Jesus grew up, that he would die on the cross for our sins. And that when we put our faith in him, when we believe and trust in Jesus, then we can be saved and we get to spend life with God forever memory verse for this month is a Christmas verse and it is the words that the angels told the shepherds after Jesus was born. These words were good news and they're found in Luke chapter 2 verses 11 and 12. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And who was that baby that was born? It was Jesus, and he came to save the whole world from their sins. That's why this is such good news of great joy. Let's say it together again. Luke chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior is born for you who is the Messiah, the Lord. Today we're working on the second part of our book, and the story today was about the angel, what's his name, Kirk? Gabriel. That's right, Gabriel, when he appeared to Mary and then to Joseph. So that's what the book will be about today that you make. So the first step you need is page two from your craft kit, and you can cut everything out. And what Kirk and I are going to show you is, once you cut out the angel, you cut the dotted line so he's still in the rectangle. We're going to show you whenever you make your book, when you get to that page, he's going to pop out at you. Just like that. This is Jane's. She already did hers. Okay, so Kirk and I are going to show you how to do that. 
So Kirk, if you will, see we have this rectangle and you're going to fold back part and then that part like that. See how it's in the back like that? And then I'm going to get Kirk to please glue, put some glue on here and here. There you go. And then you're gonna have your book open to the second page. And then Kurt, take this and then glue it right in the middle. The angel should be right in the middle between the two pages. So one glued part on one side. Let me see, I want him to pop. So when you close your book up, see the, the, the parts are glued there. When you close it up, it should fold down onto him and then push down. Can you do that? Push so he gets creased in there. Great, now let's test it out. Can you open up the page two? You can be right. Let's just go down to the page two. <laughs> right there. All right, so see how Kirk's pops out like that? And then yes. after you finish that, you still have all this space to put Joseph and Mary. And then we have a Bible verse for today. And then the main part of our story, the point of our story, God chose a family for Jesus. So put all of these things in your book, and that way you'll remember today's story whenever you read your book to your family and friends. All right, so we are going to finish the rest of Kirk's book, and I hope you have fun finishing the second part of your book, and we will see you next week for the next section. Have a great day. Bye.